Welcome to Dr. Mary Travel Best's Five Steps to Solo Travel Guide for Women Like You Who Need a Little Extra Support Traveling the World One Woman at a Time. Please share this podcast with those you love. I appreciate your feedback, so please do it. I've returned from a 90-day trip around the globe to every time zone. And my mission is world peace through cultural exchange. I was solo and carried a small backpack. In this episode, the FAQ is, what did you wear in Vietnam? Today's destination, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, formerly known as Saigon. Today's mistake, the currency exchange rate was high. And today's travel advice is try the shoulder season when travel could be less costly and more flexible. So now the FAQ. What did you wear in Vietnam? And the answer, like other Southeast Asian countries, it is tropical and humid. I was always hot. I wore the lightest possible clothes and took three showers daily when possible. I also found swimming pools to cool down in. I wore a short dress instead of shorts and a blouse. I wore a skirt instead of jeans. I wore sandals. I carried an umbrella for sun protection and wore sunscreen daily. I went out early in the morning and late in the afternoon or evening and slept during the day when I could. And now, today's destination, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Formerly Saigon, it's on the coast in the south of Vietnam. The city has 18 districts, and most tourists go to districts 1, 3, and 5. I took the hop on, hop off bus at night, which was pretty amazing because the city is lit up at night like a Christmas tree. This experience covered the main tourist attractions in about 90 minutes. I could never have seen all this during the daytime with the traffic patterns. Most cars I saw were in traffic jams during the day. So how did I plan this part of my trip? I used booking.com to find hotels. I read guidebooks and I talked to friends who have been to Vietnam, especially recently. The taxis are safer and especially the green ones. I shared a ride from the airport to my hotel at midnight with two people I met on the plane. The traffic is really light at midnight. During the day, that's different. Quickly, I learned that driving here is a challenge, especially in the Mekong Delta. Listen to that podcast episode. You can hear that later. The current exchange rate here is 22,600 dong to the dollar. Your dollar goes far. What did I eat? I ate a lot of fish sauce and pho and banh mi. So I went to the Mekong Delta, but then I came back to Ho Chi Minh City. By this time, I was really hungry, so I found the Bang Sen Buffet. It was a $12 buffet. It was one of the best meals I had. And it was great because I could try things because I didn't know what to order. So I made a list of the things I ate at that buffet. I ate pho, pork style. I ate duck eggs, ice cream, fried rice, red bean soup, snails with ginger, vegetable soup, eggplant, steamed veggies, prunes, watermelon, dragon fruit, banana cake, papaya, and spring rolls. Now, on the second part of my trip, I stayed at a different hotel. This is the Hyung Sen. And I had construction noise from a different floor. It was so loud, even at nine in the morning, after a big breakfast, all I wanted to do was sleep. So I asked and they let me switch to a different hotel of theirs. It was called Annex Hotel. It was down the block and it was owned by the same company. So later that day, I swam in the pools at the hotel with excellent views of the city. Now later on, a couple of blocks away, I walked over to the Sheraton Hotel. 
and I went up to the 23rd floor, and what a view that was, especially close to sunset. I also got another massage. This time, I got a Thai massage in Vietnam. Now, if you're planning sites in Ho Chi Minh City, you might want to try these. The Rex Hotel is definitely worth seeing. The Opera House, I would check out the downtown shopping malls and a special market called the Ben Phan Market. Here's what I bought in Ho Chi Minh City. I bought a folding umbrella. It was the best $3 I spent on the trip. Since mine were broken, I bought leather sandals. That was another good find. And I bought a lock with a key. Later, I bought pharmacy and stuff. I had to get meds for a sinus infection. And I did not need a prescription to get antibiotics. So I had them, but I never did use them. So in summary, Ho Chi Minh City had some great hotel buffet breakfasts. There were plenty of tourists. And it took a lot of work to cross the street safely. I had to follow someone else to cross with them, as it took experience that I did not have. And now for today's mistake. The currency exchange rate was too high. I should have talked to more locals before changing money in Vietnam. I got taken. I changed U.S. dollars to Cambodian dong, which I did not need. They took U.S. dollars there everywhere. I also changed some U.S. dollars to Indian rupees. But they gave me a currency that was being removed from the country, so it was not usable. And they gave me change in Vietnamese cur currency, which I didn't want. So I paid a fee for that exchange, too. I had a lot to learn, and I still do. And now for today's travel advice. The shoulder season travel will be less costly and more flexible. You know, you don't always need that perfect season for your travel. You could go before or after the peak season, and you may find a better overall experience. With climate changes, those traditional windows of weather are not so exact. So plan some things and leave other non-essentials to the spur of the moment. I want to bring some meaning to your travels, so send a question or travel tip to info at drmarytravelbest.com. I have a mailing list. I'd love to add you to that, and we can connect on my website. I've also got a Facebook page and group, and I'm on Instagram. You can find me on YouTube or X, and you can also find 5 Steps to Solo Travel. It's on Amazon. 